Hey everybody, this is the Gamer Guy here. I'm um, gonna be making another video on Kerbal Space Program, and today's video is going to be about the mods that I use, how to install them, and where to download them. Most importantly. Okay, guys. So step one is we are going to open up our browser and I'm going to be providing all three links for all three downloads of the mods that I am currently using. Um, the first one we are going to cover is Infernal Robotics. Now, before we do anything, I want to show you guys how to locate your Kerbal Space folder. Now, it can be complicated if you are a Steam user uh, and you're not really savvy with where your Steam game files are, well, they're really easy to find. First, you're going to want to go to your computer, your local disk, and program files 86. If you don't have that, it's just program files. You're going to look for Steam, and you're going to go to Steam Apps, and then within that folder, you're going to go to Common, and you should see your Kerbal Space program folder right there. Now that we have that open, we can proceed with step one, and that is to download Infernal Robotics. So, first thing we do is we go to our Mediafire link, and I'm not going to download it, but you can, and just click download, and close the tab out, so no, there we go, pop-ups come up, um, they like to haunt me, so download it and it should open up into a zip file actually I will demonstrate that for you guys so it's a little easier for you to understand <coughs> okay so now we have it in our zip file with our pop-up <laughs> it should open briefly okay so within the zip file you're gonna see game data file you're literally just going to do exactly what I do right now. You're going to drag game data on top of the game data in your Kerbal Space program folder. So what you're going to do is just drag and drop it and don't worry about what it asks you to do. If it asks you to overwrite, overwrite it. Um, and that's all you have to do. You don't have to go any further than that. You don't have to open this up or drag and drop it anywhere. It's just going to put it there. Um, and it should work just fine. If it doesn't work in the game, open up your game data folder and just drag and drop it. Okay, so now for step two, we are going to install our fire spitter propeller propeller plane and helicopter parts uh, mind you these are updated for version point two two I believe uh, mech jab point two two yep here we go um, I'm not yep it is it's updated for point two two so if you're flying with m version point two two these will work just fine for you um, we're going to go ahead and repeat the process. We're just going to click the download link and open it with WinRAR Archiver. <coughs> Anytime now. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have another game data file. But this time, you're going to open it. And you're going to go to your Kerbal Space folder. And you're going to open up your game data file. And you're going to drag and drop Fire Spitter into your game data. Okay, so now we're on to the last step, step three. And this is to download the MechJab 2.1 into your directory folder for Kerbal Space Program. We're going to repeat the step process as we did with Fire Spitter. We're going to download it and open it up. Okay. No, I don't want to buy it. And this one you're going to have to pay attention to because this can confuse people sometimes. I don't know how, but it can. And I closed my Kerbal folder. So we're going to have to go and get it again. And 
voila. Okay. So, in our Kerbal Space folder, you're going to go to your parts folder. Open it. You're going to go to parts in your download. Open it. Drag and drop these two part things into here. This folder should be empty before you drag the parts over. If it's not, you have other mods there, but that's okay. Next step after that, go to your plugins folder. Open plugins in your download. Drag and drop it into your plugins. Like I said, it should be empty here, but if not, don't worry, just drag and drop MechJeb in there and it should work. Um, so yeah, that's it. That is how you install the three modifications, or any mods for that matter. Um, but this is how you install those three mods. Okay, so now we're in the game here. Mm, we're going to do a quick demonstration of the parts that are given to you by Fire Spitter and um, Infernal Robotics and we'll just go through real quick as you can see the cockpits are very different you have a lot of airplane and helicopter looking cockpits um, same thing with the engines you have a lot of prop engines um, I'll let you guys do the exploring yourself um, drop tanks and oxidizers air tanks stuff like that um, the coolest addition I think is fuel fuselages um, the fuselage is actually made of fuel. Um, very useful. You also have battery fuselages too. Um, I think they are in yeah right here. Battery fuselage. See um, structural additions. You got bomber bays. You got uh, bomber tail. Um, you the small fuselage which this jet is made from. Tail edition, so you got like a boat plane combo thing. Wings, of course, you got some bomber wings and some fighter wings. Um, got some intake nose cone thing. Uh, what else here? That's pretty much it for that. Just wings, different various wings. Um, and then utilities where it's at here. You got all different types of wheels and batteries. Um, you got sliding rails, you got adjustable rails, spacers, hinges. Um, I have hinges and rotators on this plane and it's actually pretty damn stable. It's a small jet, it's not big, but it's fast and it's very easy to land. Um, you got the rotators get really big. So if you have a big plane you can do that. Pistons, these are segments, so they just I think they add yeah they add to what you put down. These are the actual pistons, hydraulic cylinders I should say. Um and that's pretty much it for that. And there's only two additional things for the science section. So let's go ahead and fly this thing and I'll demonstrate how the parts are used. And there's a little screen that pops up on your right when you're in the actual editing screen and you can set hotkeys to operate the rotators and hinges. And okay, so here we are guys on the runway. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of parts like the hinges and the rotators on my aircraft and then I'm going to show successful flight and landing. So first we have our road, our hinges. Put my wings down. As you can see, you can press. I have am set to three and four to lift my wings up and down. And then I have numbers one and two to rotate my main control thrusters. Um, you can do things pretty advanced, like you can put hinges on the rotators, and you can you can actually steer with these things if you get really good with the controls. So let's go ahead and do a takeoff. Now, 
What I like to do is I like to use the thrusters to elevate the aircraft nice and slow. As you will see as soon as I get up to speed. So now the craft is up. And then we can increase our elevation. Don't forget to put SAS on. <laughs> Throw our gear up here so we're in a steady flight. Let them level out. You can use your thrusters to level out and you know, reduce altitude. And we are going to get this craft out quite a ways here. And we will circle around for a landing. Now, the structure is actually pretty rigid, but this aircraft is small and basic. Um, these are the hinges right here and the rotators are right in between the engines so they're actually very um, structural and discreet looking very easy to attach and snap on and create your own little design like I have Now we're out pretty far. I'm going to go ahead and do a turn maneuver, and I'm going to use the jet engines to do it with the wings. So what we'll do is point the engines down to throw the nose forward fast. And it throws me in a high-speed spin. <laughs> but I can regain control very easily. Which is why I put these jet engines on here because it's very easy to control what you're doing. And you're going to reduce your throttle to about half on your descent into the runway. Try to line your nose up. forget to put your gear down. I did that in the last video and I have to remake it. Just try to line up your, your aircraft with the runway. If not, that's fine, but you do want to reduce your, your speed as you approach. Now, you're going to see something that I don't know if people have done on YouTube before with their aircraft, but I'm going to use my thrusters to slow the, the jet down as I approach. And I'll lower my altitude some more here. Lower my thrust a little bit. Not that lined up. But we're going to go ahead and drop my altitude some more. Cancel all thrust and use your brakes. I'm probably going to throw this thing into a roll. You can tap your brakes. You can do whatever you want. But as you can see, I have successfully landed the aircraft. <laughs> Just not on the runway. Um, but you can, of course, increase your thrust. and You can not go into the building. And hooray! <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. 
that was totally an accident, but well worth watching. Till next time.